Hey all, Brad Brent L. Miller here. I uh, decided today to go with Grand Seiko. Uh, I realized that we had four of the limited edition uh, 60th anniversary models in uh, in stock, so why not get these all in video for everyone to take a look at? I, I'm not going to go over the dimensions of all four of these. Uh, if you want to see that, I will list it in the description. Uh, so take a look there for what I came up with when I measured all four of these. First up, SBGP015. It's the 9F quartz movement. Um, blue ceramic bezel, all satin brush bracelet. All four of these are sharp watches. Can't go wrong with any of them. Two quartz and two automatics. One of the automatics, the last one we get to will be the high beat. Uh, the next one's gonna be the SBGR321. This one's limited to 2,500 pieces. This is the uh, 9S65 movement. My favorite feature on this watch um, has to be this rotor. If you guys can get to get a chance to see one of these in person, I suggest you do. Uh, I do leave the stickers on the back of these, um, just uh, that's respect for the new owner when the, uh, whenever they get them, so to keep these as new as possible. But um, really just the, the rotor on this is my favorite. I'd wear the case back as a watch on this. I just think it's really that cool looking. Uh, again, my personal preference, I like the color. Next up is back to our 9F Quartz is the SBGP007. If uh, you want to remember 2020, uh, for any reason outside of COVID and the anniversary of Grand Seiko, 60th or 60th anniversary of Grand Seiko, if you can look, I'm trying to get this here, the texture. Uh, 2020 uh, on the dial. It's very subtle. In most light situations, you don't see it at all. Uh, you got to hit the light the right way to kind of see the texture on the dial. So it's kind of a hidden feature that is cool. Again, on the quartz, you get the all satin brush bracelet. And the last one I have here is the SBGH281. Uh, this is the most limited of 1500. This is the high beat. Again, movement's nice. I, the, the rotor on the uh, SBG R321 just is my favorite, if you can't tell. Uh, as far as the dials go, though, uh, I think I'd take the high beat dial. If I had the choice, two automatics. I do like the red texture uh, or the red uh, accent, not the texture, the red accent here on the dial compared to um, the SBG R321. So I would take the 321 movement, even though I know this is the high beat. Uh, I just like I just like the rotor on this. Again, yeah, I keep going back to this. So there they are, the automatics and the quartz. Let me know what you guys think. Which model would you be taking? I like I said, all four are, are, are can't go wrong. It's just what you what you prefer. If there's a watch you want to see reviewed, if we have in stock, I'm more than happy to do a video, take photos for you. Uh, email me, brad at brentlmiller.com. Thanks, gang.